normal building materials are replaced with a solar component actually built into the material. So the glass facade for the whole building here is actually solar glass. And the roofing material that we've got on the roof has solar components actually integrated into the roofing material. There's no cheap solutions uh, to store energy yet. I hope there's some developments in lithium, etc. But that's still expensive because it's not globally accepted yet. It's, it's looked upon as dangerous. But the cost with storing electricity makes solar energy expensive. But for daily use, solar is the cheapest solution available. Everybody knows about stopping in traffic in Cambodia. You could be there for two hours. The good thing, if you're not going anywhere in these things, it's not actually using any power. If you're sitting in a combustion engine in traffic, you've got the air conditioning on, you're chewing up petrol, you're spewing out more pollution. These things sit quietly on the road, don't take any pollution whatsoever. There's no waste product from these things. It's not linked to any other ind indexes in the world. If uh, gold goes up and down or if China goes to war with Russia and uh, you know, the economy falls over, in Cambodia you're still going to get close on six hours power generation from the sun tomorrow. And there is nothing that anybody can do to reduce that. It's, it's, it's a guaranteed investment. I specified the prices here. Here he specified his... Uh they cannot keep up with the, with the grid as it's functioning and the more factories which are coming. Last year, 102 new manufacturers came to Cambodia and believe me, there will come more, but the energy problem will become, become bigger because of that. They cannot stay on top of that. The solution is solar. 